Hello everyone and welcome to the first official Pokemon Week video. At the beginning of every video in my Pokemon Week series, I'll be having some special guests talk about their favorite Pokemon and Pokemon related moments, be it from the anime or the games or even something that happened in their real lives. Today I, Crystal Face, will be talking about my favorite Pokemon stuff, so without further ado, let's get this show on the road. When I was trying to decide on a favorite Pokemon, I had a really tough time. My brother and I love Pokemon, so from time to time we would start talking about what Pokemon we love and which Pokemon are cool and what we like about them. So my problem was that every other Pokemon that we would talk about, that we would bring up, I would exclaim with passion, that one's my favorite! You can understand my dilemma. So what I decided to do uh, to pinpoint my true favorite Pokemon was answer this question. Which Pokemon would I Pikachu? You know? Like, which Pokemon would I love to have as my best friend and travel around with outside of his or her Pokeball and level up really high while at the same time not evolving? After much deliberation and playing Pokemon Y, I've chosen Buizel as my cute little Pokemon buddy to accompany me on my adventures. He's just so adorable and he has this like really cool air sac on his neck that he can inflate. So his head stays a, like afloat above the water, which is really cool. He also has a tail that splits in two and spins and propels him through the water. And to be honest, I think he had potential to be a starter Pokemon, but I guess they weren't able to come up with a, a cool third evolution for him. Now, as for my favorite Pokemon related moment, I have to say it would be the first episode of Pokemon. Now, I know that seems kind of like a cop out, but let me explain. I really loved seeing Ash being such a bad Pokemon trainer, especially in retrospect, and having these hilarious interactions with Pikachu. The first time they meet, Pikachu shocks the crap out of Ash, and when Ash tries to get Pikachu to go into his Pokeball, he just smacks it back at him several times. <laughs> then there's this part where the Pokedex literally calls Ash stupid. A forest Pokemon, Rapid Pack. It likes cheese, nuts, fruits, and berries. Yeah, but this isn't a forest. It's an open field. It also comes out into open But in all honesty, the best part of this episode is when a flock of Spearows is attacking Pikachu, and Ash just charges in to save him, thus solidifying Pikachu's trust and respect in Ash Ketchum. It's beautiful, really. And that is my favorite Pokemon moment. Let me know what you love about Pokemon in the comments, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Hello my crystal ears and welcome to the first official video of Pokemon Week. I'm actually very excited to play this because this is the first uh, Pokemon game I've ever played. And man is it nostalgic. Pokemon Blue version. It's still loading. Uh, but yeah, if you're wondering uh, how I'm playing this and how am I recording this. Well, first you put this thing and that thing. Then you put this thing and this thing. Then you... Put this thing in that, and then boom, you got the game. And I'm recording it. Let's do it. Alright. I think uh, my brother has like a previous save on this, but don't worry, I already talked to him about it. He's like, yeah, you can erase that. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh man, this is awesome. My name is Oak. Please call me the Pokemon Prof. Professor. Prof. Such as slang. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. I'm trying to see if I can imitate his voice a little bit. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, dot dot dot. I study Pokemon as a profession. I'm not weird, you're weird. First, what is your name? My name is. Let's see if my name could actually fit. I think it's all caps, right? All caps when you spell the man's name. Well, Crystal fits, so why not? It's kind of a, it's a little bit... Right, so your name is Crystal. It's a little bit uh, ironic since there's a Pokemon Crystal, but that hasn't happened yet. This is my grandson. He's a jerk. <laughs> he's been, he's gonna be our rival since you were a baby. How, how, how do you have a rival when you're a baby? You guys fight for the same bottle of milk or something? Uh, Red Ash, Jack? 
Well, uh, his name is Gary, right? Yeah, his name is Gary. But how do you spell Gary? Just like G A R Y? Because I've 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 known a couple different Garys in my life, and they have weird different spellings for them. I'm just gonna go for that though. That's right. I remember my own grandson's name. His name is Gary. I'm a terrible grandfather. I love the border, by the way. The border around this screen is super awesome. Crystal, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures. With Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Ah, oh, you shrank me down with your shrinking machine. And I was playing the probably Super Nintendo, I guess, or maybe yeah, I think the Super Nintendo. I don't know. Who knows? Let's check the computer. Crystal, turn on the PC. Let's see. I think there's usually yeah. That's what's up. Give me that. What do you want to withdraw? Nothing, cause I can't. All right, cool. You always gotta check the computer when you first start the games. Can't do anything else in this lab. I was gonna say lab, but I can't do anything in my room, even though it's uh, super nostalgic just to be here. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I remember this. I better go too. <laughs> And walk on railroad checks. Hello, mother. Right, all boys leave home someday at the years at the age of ten. It said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. All right, thanks, mom. I'll never see you again. Apparently, I'm also ten years old, so I'm cool. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. Okay, so let's go meet with the Professor Oak Oakenstein. I think this is Gary's house or something. Gary's house. I like how it says Gary's house instead of his parents' house. Gary's so well off, he totally owns his own house at age 10. Not a bad deal. Get on your mates. Also, you're here now. Yo, Crystal. Gramps isn't around. Cool. That means I'm free to steal these Pokemon. These Pokeballs contain Pokemon. Wow. What a revelation. What a revelation. Alright, let's see. This should probably just say Oaks. Yeah, okay, cool. Hey, my man, Fat Man. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via PC. It's pretty advanced, actually. It's like Borderlands and Digestructing. Hey, wait. Don't go out. I want to go with you. Let's hang out, young child. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your own nefarious purposes. I know. Here, come with me. Alright, cool. So, um, I'm actually not sure which I should go for. My, my brother's uh, favorite Pokemon is Bulbasaur. And, uh, I, hmm, I think I went with Charizard, but... Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting, because I'm a freaking butthole. <laughs> Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. You're my grandson. I forgot. Just you wait. Here, Crystal. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. <laughs> they are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trader. Uh, but I sucked at everything, and now I'm old. So you can have these three. You can have one shoes. Hey, Gramps. What about me? Shut up, Gary. Be patient. You little... <laughs> Alright, so, I think I want to go with uh, Squirtle. I love Squirtle. That's not Squirtle. A strange seed was planted on his back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So, you want the plant's Pokemon? Bulbasaur? No, um... Okay, let's see if I can guess which one's Bulbasaur correctly. I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm wrong! <laughs> okay, cool. N nothing out of place there. Obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is set to spout from the tip of its tail. Yeah, there wasn't there like an old episode where... Wow, excuse me. Sorry about that. Where, uh, it was raining and Ash saved Charmander's life because his light was going out on his tail. After birth, its back swells and, and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. It's not having a seizure or anything. It's just attacking. Squirtle? Yeah, let's do it. This Pokemon is really energetic. Crystal received a Squirtle. Did I mention how awesome I'm... How, how much I'm digging this, uh, border? Do you want to give a nickname to Squirtle? Uh... Sure. Let's give him a nickname. He he shall be the face to my crystal. <laughs> Why not? Let's do it. Come on, face. Let's get it on. Yeah, okay, Gary, take your freaking time. No one, you, you're just working on your own time. No one else's time is important. Just waddling around. Of course he received a bullsaur. 
Why, sh why didn't you pick one first? Alright, let's kick his butt. Wait, Crystal! Let's check out our Pokemon! You know, uh, while I'm playing this, I haven't seen the new, the newer anime that was, like, adapted for, like, this old game. I really haven't. I saw maybe, like, the first episode, and it was epic. But I didn't see the rest of those. I need to watch that. I really do. I really want to. Gary sent out Bulbasaur! What a surprise! Go, face! Oh, look at that. That looks so awesome. Tail Whip doesn't do anything that I'm aware of, to be honest. Oh, wow, what an exciting battle! Tackle upon tackle! Tail Whip upon Tail Whip! Oh, Growl is. You know, Growl is, you know, it's decent. At least it does something. Tail Whip, I have no idea what that Tail Whip even does. I'll probably skip through a few of these battles. Uh, because I want to just get more into. I want to get as far as I can into, like, uh, ta different towns and stuff. I want to see if I can get into the, maybe, I mean, obviously I can get into the next town, but I want to get into the town after that. In the time limits that I have been giving myself, so hopefully I can speed through most of this. Bob, saw you use Growl. What an amazing option that he just took. No one could have predicted. This crazy moveset is crazy. I like how we're fighting in the middle of a laboratory. I mean, I don't know, I feel like that should be allowed. First of all, you're indoors, there's civilians, and then there's probably, I don't know, crazy, delicate chemicals somewhere. Face, screwed to level 6! Crystal defeated Gary! Oh man, I suck. I picked the wrong Pokemon, because I'm a jerk and everybody loves me. I got a lot of money. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Crystal, Gramps, smell you later. <laughs> That's his theme song. Well, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna peace out. I don't think there's running shoes in this game, huh? It was pretty cool in Emerald. Emerald is probably my favorite handheld Pokemon game, to be honest. I really, really loved playing it. And the, co the chains, the, the color just changed. That's cool. I don't think that happens in the game with color, does it? I don't remember it, the color changing like that. Do I fight this guy? I don't think I fight this guy. Let me talk to him for no reason. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. <laughs> you can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Ah, Pallet Town. I miss Pallet Town. I was actually uh, recently rewatching some of the old, uh, old, um, like first episodes. Man, it's really funny too, cause like when I was a kid, I would watch those, and uh, <clears throat> I mean, I would like them, cause they're just cartoons and they're cute and cool and stuff happens. But I definitely didn't understand necessarily what was even happening uh, and what they were saying. So when I was watching them again, there's some really funny stuff that they say and do. It's like really, it's really cool. Critical hit! Enemy pitcher used Gust! He's kinda cute. Uh, I don't have any Pokeball, so I can't catch things. So, I guess I'm not gonna do that. Also, um, I remember seeing like a green Pokeball in, in the show. I don't. I don't think that's ever, like, really referenced again, is it? Alright, let's go. I don't know how much money I have, but let's check it out. Poke Mart. Oh, wait, this is the, uh... Oh, this is not the Pokemon at all. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. This is the Pokemon Center where we hear your Pokemon back to perfect health. Well, I think, uh, I think most of you know what this is, so I'm not really gonna explain it or anything. Yes. I love that sound. Yeah! So, okay, so one thing that I, um, that I, uh, only noticed after like a long time that uh what's her name i forgot what the nurse is nurse nurse joy right yeah nurse joy she uh i'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to be nurse joy it doesn't necessarily look like her that much but i think in the later games they made her look more like uh, nurse joy hey you came from Palatown. yeah how'd you know mr psychic man you know prof oak right his order came in will you take it to him crystal got oak's parcel can i just use that for myself let me see if I can buy anything. Okay, say so hi to Professor Oak for me. Uh, I'm a customer here, and I have money. Do you want it or not? I guess he doesn't want it. Let's see what the shelf has. Wow, tons of Pokemon stuff! Great, how descriptive. So, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, Nurse Joy, and stuff about the- Oh, yeah. So, for, for the longest time, I never noticed that she bows- She bows her head after she, uh, heals her Pokemon. Like, for the longest time, I've never noticed that. So, when- so after a long time of playing this game, and, I, and then I noticed that, I kind of went like, I was just like, what? 
What an awesome little detail. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. When I was a nerdy little kid nerding out on bowing the bowing heads of sprites. Tiny little sprites. I hope I don't get to uh, relive the excruciating pain of having a... Uh, oh, cool, I grew, I grew to level 7. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Seven. I don't know why I said that. But anyways, um, I, I hope I don't get to relive the excruciating pain of hearing my Pokemon be at low health for like 10 minutes. Yo, I got your parcel for you. I'm not really a, you know, mailman, but I guess I'm gonna do this for you. Well, it seems you like it a lot. You look- what? You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? Do you have something for me? Crystal delivered Oak's parcel. Gotta love those jingles. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Oh, cool. Thank you. Gramps! I'm gonna steal that Pokeball from you because I'm a jerk, as previously stated. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention. The Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Yo, know, <laughs> so one of my favorite things from the, like, old-school Pokemon show, the old-school Pokemon show, is that, I mean, I haven't seen any recent Pokemon shows that much, really. I, I think I stopped watching around after, like, Crystal or something. You know, when Dawn was around? Dawn was cool, I liked Dawn, and I think Brock was still there, too, with her. Um, I don't remember what happens after that, but, um, one of my favorite characters from, like, the original shows was literally just the Pokedex and the funny things he says. I, I, I don't, I don't recall much, but I talked about it in my, uh, in my, like, intro to this video where the Pokedex calls Ash stupid. So, yeah, I just want I guess I'm reiterating. I just realized that I had talked about that in the, the first thing. Stupid! I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sister. I'll tell her not to lend you one because I'm a jerk, as previously stated. <laughs> Dude, what the heck, jerk? What the heck? Like, why would he... <laughs> Seriously, though, that's this is why Gary is hated. In the first episode, he was like... Everyone was like... He had like a big parade and he literally had cheerleaders. Hey, sister of Gary. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Here, this will help you. Crystal got a town map. Boom. Suck it, Gary. I got a freaking town map from your actually nice sister. We're probably gonna go out sometime without even knowing about it. That's what's up, Gary. What you say, what you're gonna say about that? Yeah. All right. Ooh, rat time. Wish I had a Pokeball, because I actually want that. I want that. Hmm, level two, maybe not. I did, I am contemplating on playing gold for Pokemon Week. I'm not sure yet. Um, I do have a few awesome other games that I want to play. Uh, I don't know if Pokemon Gold will be on that, but we'll see as the, uh, as the, uh, week progresses. Arigato. Mm. Yeah. Arigato. Arigato. Let's see if we can buy things finally. Alright, come on. Give me that. Hi there, may I help you? I have $3,000 at 10 years old. Heck yeah. Alright, gonna go ahead and buy six of these. Yes, please. And I'm gonna need some antidotes. Uh, I'll just go ahead and buy six of those. Because we're going into the forest pretty soon, I think, right? Eh, maybe not too soon. Maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I do have one potion. He doesn't have any potions for sale, unfortunately. But whatever. I always thought that sprite of that guy in the back kind of looked like Elvis. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll point it out again if I see him again. Oh, this is a school, right? Oh, man, I used to read all of this stuff. So. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to read everything here, but... Be sure to read the blackboard carefully. Oh, I, I did. Trust me, Mrs. Teacher Lady. I spent a lot of time with this game, I'm not realizing. Like, I've played this game a lot. Radiant City, the eternally green paradise, which is where I'm at right now. I don't think I'm supposed to go that way, so I'm going to go up. This isn't the uh, town with the old guy passing out, is it? When I go shop in Pewter City, I have to take the winding trail. In Viridian Forest, which is, I guess, what I'm probably gonna do. Is this the passed out old guy I was talking about? Ah, I had my coffee now. I feel great. Sure, you can go through. Yeah, this is the passed out old guy. Are you in a hurry? Yes! Time is money. Go along, then. Yeah, that's the... that Like, I probably... I kind of wish I didn't, uh... Didn't not see that guy 
pass out on the floor. This kid's weird. But, uh, yeah, the grandpa is literally just passed out in front of the path that you want to take. And, uh, you can't progress. It's like one of the strange things that this game does for progression. Also, this, it does this too. It blocks your path with this old guy trying to creep on these ladies. And then, I don't think you can... Can you go on this side? I guess you can. Okay, I guess I'm wrong. The gym's doors are locked. Oh, whoa. I didn't even have the option to try the door, actually. It automatically told me that and made me jump. Oh, well, I guess there's that, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that old guy staring into the window is creeping on those ladies on the inside. He's like, mm, look at the beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Pewter City. Let's do it. I don't think there's anything really for me in Viridian, other than just general exploring. But, uh, I kind of want to progress as much as I can. Let's see if we can catch anything so sweet. Ooh, I wonder if we can catch a Pikachu. Well, I mean, if I, if I try to catch a Pikachu on purpose, it'll be a while. <laughs> So I'm not going to try to catch it on purpose. But it would be awesome if it came up. Fingers crossed, everybody. Wish me luck. Oh, if I get a Pikachu, I'm going to call it Detective. <laughs> Have you guys seen the, the video for the Detective Pikachu thing? That's the best. I really hope it gets uh, a release in the US because heck yeah, I want that. I really wish it was also a console game too because I would record the heck out of that. But so far, I think it's just a, uh, a 3DS thing. Uh, let's catch this guy. Go, Pokeball! Woo! Alright. First catch of the day, first catch of the video. Let's see what it is. Ah, oh, yeah! I love it. I love hearing that. New Pokedex data will be added for Rattata, one of my favorite bands as well. Bites anything when it attacks, small and very quick. It is a common sight in many places. Do you want to give a nickname to Rattata? Sure, let's try it. Let's give it. Let's give it the band name that I just mentioned. Rattata. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. It's just, you know, that's it's literally a band called that. If you don't know what that band is, check them out. They're really cool. Especially if you dig, like, I think they're usually instrumentals. There's, no, there's not really much uh, singing involved. Maybe I'm wrong? I don't remember. I don't remember if I'm wrong or not. Probably should have, uh... Hmm, I don't remember where to go, actually, but let's just go for it. Just gonna go for it. Let's see, what's up? For poison, use antidotes. Get it at Pokemon Marts. So that's why I have like five or six on me. I hope, hopefully, I don't pass out. I'm totally not gonna catch this guy. <laughs> hopefully, he doesn't do hard in 50 times, but you guys all know how that is. Critical hit! Enemy! Not a pod, use harden. Hey, what a surprise. Could have fooled me. I really need the XP, so I think I'm gonna go for actually killing this guy, even though it'll take a while. Nothing happened! He's literally hardened so much that nothing happens though. Woo! Alright, well, I mean, that didn't take super long, but it definitely took longer than I ever wanted to. I learned Bubble! Awesome! Finally, uh... An elemental attack. I just noticed that I only have one potion, and that kind of sucks because uh, I don't remember where to go actually. I only have one potion. How do I? Yep, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Item. I only have one potion, and that's it. So I might die actually. <laughs> Probably should have paid more attention to stuff. Oh, that's just a pokeball. I was really hoping that was uh, a potion. Am I going the wrong way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Let's try the right side. Alright, 90s kids with your bowl cuts. Hey man, just turn around? Yeah. This is the uh, stealth mechanic in Pokemon games. You just gotta wait him out. Are you gonna turn, man? I don't think he's, I don't think he's a turner. I don't think he's a Timmy Turner. Yeah, I think he's just gonna... Okay, cool. Alright, let's see if I can do this. <clears throat> hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle him. I think he's probably gonna be a bug catcher or something. Let's see. Bugcatcher wants to fight. Oh, they don't have names? I guess it's just Bugcatcher. Sent out Weedle. 
Hmm. Alright, let's see how this goes. This is my first official uh, Pokemon battle. Oh, Bubbles pretty well. Look at those graphics! His speed fell. I forgot that was a thing that happens when I do Bubble. Let's keep using Bubble. I don't know how effective attack Tackle is. I imagine Bubble's probably just better. No, not String Shot! The most effective move of all moves! Haha! It failed! Somehow. No one understands this. Uh, let's try to tackle. Boom. Wow, what a heart pounding battle. Oh, what? He has another one? Okay, well, let's try it. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to do that at all. I accidentally pressed yes. Alright, Caterpie. Misty's favorite Pokemon. <laughs> you guys and your string shots. Alright, let me just take care of these guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Face grew to level 9. Alright, sweet. Good EXP. No, Caterpie can't cut it. Cut what? Alright. So, what I want to do is check my stats. Okay, so... Can I check my individual moves? Okay. I mean, I kind of... I can see them. I can't see their stats. I don't, I don't know what... How much damage Bubble does and how much damage Tackle does. Let's hope that I'm going the right way. <laughs> oh, hello. Eh, it's an antidote. I don't really need those. I probably... Well, he didn't have any potions for sale, did he? Hopefully I don't get lost in here. I remember being super lost in here before, though. I think I... I think I remember this being the right path. Pikachu, show me your face! Show me your face, Pikachu! This path is very familiar to me, so I think I'm totally doing the right place. Doing the right thing right now. Which is very good. So I remember when I was a kid, I would be in this place forever. What's up, Joey? Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? I also remember poison being a huge handicap, so I'm actually surprised that how kind of easy it is right now. But, I mean, then again, I was like, I don't know, how old was I? Uh, 10, maybe? I don't know. Probably something like that. Alright, guys, come on with the string shots. My, my attack missed. Come on, face, you're better than that. I raised you better than that. I've known you for, like, what, 20 minutes? Step your game up, face. Come on, face. Alright, let's see. So I'm trying to save face and kill this Weedle. Weedle do and Waddle be. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll just keep doing bubble. Tail up ain't nothing. Tell me in the comments if Tail up does something. Because, like, I seriously just have no clue if that does anything at all. <laughs> My tackle is like way low. Why, hey, why? Face, use bubble. Bubble face. That's my other persona. Whoa! What's going on? Oh no, I was finally poisoned. That sucks. Well, at least I have 50 antidotes, so I'm fine. PSN. Uh, enemy widow fainted. Face gained 99 XP points. Whoa, that's awesome. I wish me growing a level kind of got rid of my uh, status effects, but it's a bit much, I guess. I always love a game that has like a uh, health boost or something. I give! You're good at this! I always love a game that has like a some sort of health boost or something when uh, you level up. So it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and use the antidote on uh, face here. I'm not gonna use the antidote because I think I'm scot free here. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Yeah! I'm out of here. Leaving Viridian Forest. Pewter City ahead. Sweet. Alright, finally. Sorry, old man, I ain't got time for your shenanigans. Shenanigans. There's a cave over there. Oh, I think the cave... Hmm, what does that cave do again? I feel like I trade something for, like, a mime or something. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mr. Mime. Alright, let's heal up and continue our exploration. It's such a tr like a massive trip to nostalgia land. I love it. Yo, Pokemon are fighting fit. Let me bow down my cute little sprite face. Oh, hello, Jigglypuff. <laughs> poop, 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 poop. Well, that's a little uh, inappropriate. Hey, Elvis. This is the guy that kind of looks like Elvis to me. Yawn. When Jigglypuff swings, uh, sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too, Snore. That's. That's a little, that's like a pun or something, because there's a drowsy Pokemon. There's a Pokemon called drowsy. 
Alright, where the where the heck do I go? Where the heck do I go now? Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however short, earns EXP. Wah wah wah. What is this? I think I remember this though. Pewter City, a stone gray city. You can say that again. Cause it's gray. Maybe I should catch Pokemon. Before I challenge the gym man. Definitely need to buy potions. That's a for sure. That's a for sure thing. Hi there, may I help you? Uh, nope, I do not need Pokeballs. Give me some potions though. Yep. 12 grand. $12,000 just for me. Alright, I have uh, antidotes and potions. I'm gonna go ahead and try and catch a couple Pokemon in. Just for backups. And uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I caught a Pidgey. Alright, cool. Let's see what the heck we're gonna call this guy. Oh, let's first read our entry data. Tiny bird. A common sight in forests and woods. It flaps its little wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Yeah, let's give it a nickname. Uh, what are we gonna call it? Let's call it... Poop. Poop. Poopy. Poop, poop, poopy. Yeah, why not? Poopy. I'm not very... <laughs> I'm not feeling particularly creative right now, I must say. Aw <laughs> oh, yeah, can't be was cat. Let's let's see what the heck we're gonna read about this guy and give him a new nickname. Worm. Height one foot, I guess. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls like Spoderman. I think I know exactly what to call him, actually. Caterpie. More like... PewDiePie. Uh, get it? Because he's a person, and he's famous? Oh, too, it totally fits, too. Awesome. Also, is his name supposed to be him shooting a pie in the face and he's dying? That's what I always thought about. PewDiePie. Alright, cool. Let's heal and challenge with the Brockster. I miss Brock. I want Brock to be back in the show. I think what's in what's in the show currently is like this green-haired guy, and then what's the other girl? I actually don't even remember. I don't remember the girl at all, but I remember her hair is cool and she has like a what is it called? Like an axle or something like that. I don't remember what it's called, but it's cool Pokemon as well. It kind of like hangs out with her. I, unless I'm wrong, I don't remember if that's the pair that is currently happening right now. I kinda wanna watch- Hey, weird nerd guy. Hiya, I could tell you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of the Pokemon, matches could be made easier. Alright, so this is actually one of the express reasons why I chose, uh, Squirtle. So I can fight rock Pokemon and wreck, wreck this house. You're still light years from facing Brock. Uh, I think not, Mr. Random Guy. Oh, look at him, he's kinda cute. Junior Trainer Boy wants to fight. Junior Trainer Boy sent out Diglett. Oh, I love that sound Diglett makes. Oh, I didn't expect the levels to be kinda high, but whatever. This shouldn't be too hard. Ow, he has scratched me. Don't they scratch me. Oh, it's critical hit. I have a couple potions, so I don't think I'm gonna take a trip. It's super effective. I don't think I'll take a trip to the Pokemon. Poke Center, ow. That does a decent damage, though. Hopefully I'll level up just after this right here. It's super effective. That's what's up. Oh, his speed fell, too. Let's see if uh, I can fish him off with uh, tackle. Man, that's doing some damage. The attack missed. Come on, face. Yo, that's a little too close there. Alright, cool. Tackle that little groundhog sausage thing? Is it- what is that? Has everyone e ever known anything about Diglett? Oh crap! It's Uh, I'm not, but I'm gonna use a potion, that's for sure. Oh, he's so cool. Uh, how much does a potion do anyway? 
Okay, I guess that's fine. 20 HP, not much, really. I don't have any other <laughs> good Pokemon, to be honest. I wasn't training or anything. I was just catching them because I wanted to. Um, maybe I should have trained, but whatever. I do what I want. Come on, space. You can do it. Oh, send in the face. Oh man, my accuracy fell. I do not need that. Maybe I, maybe I will make a quick Poke, Poke Center trip. Haha, you failed. Yeah, that's right, Sandshrew. What you got, Sandshrew? I killed all y'all. Whoa, that's a lot of friggin' a lot of XP. Darn, that's all he says. Light years isn't time. It measures distance. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say that actually when he first mentioned it. He's totally right there. Well, that's easy. Let me just make a quick trip to the Poke Center. I just want to make a point that I really love the town song right now. Check it out. So good in my ears. <laughs> my ears are happy little ears right now. All right, let's check it out, Brock. I'm Brock. I'm Peter City's gym leader, and I can't see anything. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my eight brothers and sisters at home are starving because I'm here not doing chores and feeding them. But that's not your problem. Show me your best. <laughs> Check him out. Oh, look at that. He's so, like, he's so intense. Mm, shirtless. Shirts are for the weak. Brock sent out Geo Dude. Do you even lift, bro? Go face! Alright, this shouldn't be too hard since I got face on the side. Wadded them up. Whoa, that was almost a one hit kill. Defense curl. Well, a little too late for that, bro. Gonna bubble you up. Gonna bubba bubba bubba. Yeah. It's super effective! Oh my gosh! Enemy Geodude fainted, what a surprise! Whoa, 220 XP, that's awesome. Brock's about to use Onyx! Will Crystal change Pokemon? No! I kinda wish I had Pikachu right now, cause then I would totally use Pikachu against Onyx. Because it's canon! It's canon to the Animu! Take this little bubble to the face! Yeah, that's right, bubbles shatter rocks. You never took a science class? That's what happens. You blow a bubble, it lands on the floor, and there's just a crater. Just takes out rocks. <laughs> I don't know what school you went to, buddy. And there you go, my first gym has been totally defeated. Not necessarily the hardest thing ever, so it's not like, you know, something I should be proud about. But still, it's fun. Fun times, man, fun times. Crystal defeated Brock! I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, Here's the boulder badge. Boulder dash. Crystal received the boulder dash. I said dash by accident that time. That's an official Pokemon League badge. Its bearers Pokemon become more powerful. The technique flash can now be used anytime. Crystal got uh, $1,300. Oh, sweet. Wait, take this with you. Crystal received TM34, which I'm assuming is flash. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. What does TM mean again? Does it stand for like technical machine or something weird like that? Yep. Uh, pick the Pokemon carefully. Contain oh, it contains Bide. I don't remember what the heck Bide is. Your Pokemon uh, will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back to, uh, twofold. Well, I'm done here. Let's talk to Mr. Nerd Guy. <clears throat> Just as I thought. Your Pokemon champ material. Okay, awesome. Alright, first badge. Totally gonna try and get to the next city before I end the episode. What is this again? Let's check this place out. Oh wait, isn't this like the place where you get your... Whoa. It's $50 for a child's ticket. Would you like to come in? Sure, let's do it. Right, $50, thank you. Alright, see you later, glasses man. Hat Jackie glasses. Call me Hat Jackie glasses man. That's totally an aerodactyl. A primitive and rare Pokemon. How primitive. And what's this? Yep, that's what I assumed. He's one of the cooler Pokemons. 
Kabutops, fossil of primitive and rare Pokemon. Quite prehistoric Pokemon. What's up, dude? What do we got over here? We're taking a field trip. Meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone? So Moonstone can uh, evolve Clefairy, am I right? Space Shuttle Columbia. They spelled Columbia wrong. Yeah, a Pikachu soon, I promise. Oh, she probably wants one. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch my one. Thought they were together, but I guess they're a father and a daughter. That's a little awkward. I'm out. Yeah, I wanted a Pikachu too, but not everyone can have a Pikachu. Even though there's literally millions of Pikachus. <laughs> All right, progression. Let's see if we can get. Whoa, color change. That's so cool. I love it. Oh, nostalgia. <laughs> I love that sound. That song. Hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. Yeah, cool. Wanna get wrecked again? He might. I feel like these guys might end up beating me, to be honest. I should probably buy some more potions. Because I, I only have a one-man team right now. Oh, I didn't even heal him, either. Alright, well, let's see what we got. If I die, I'm gonna end the episode. I'll just say that right now. I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> Alright, well, as you probably saw, I was, um, doing the whole, like, rotation thing. Because, like, I don't have EXP share all right now. I'm pretty sure that's in this game, but you get it pretty far into the game. Whoa, I almost got killed. Um, but, that being said, um, in the newer games, like X and Y and stuff, you actually get EXP share all, like, pretty quickly. And... I mean, that's kind of cool, but I feel like it's like a really big cop-out, you know? Like, it makes it a little too easy, almost. Because it's in this game, but it takes a while to get it. In the, in the newer games, they make it a lot easier by having that as a thing. Although, I don't know if it's... Well, EXP Share All, you get that, like, later, but you get EXP Share, and it shares on one Pokemon pretty early. I don't remember. I never played... I haven't played the new ones. The Omega... What is it? Omega Ruby and Sapphire? I think that's what it is. I want to play that a lot, actually. I don't... I haven't gotten those yet, though. I have, um... The latest one I have is Pokemon Y. I want that, though. I want the Auras. Alright, let's finish this up. Let's wrap it up. Come on. What's up, Caterpie? Got something? Cater some pies to me, Caterpie. You own your own catering business? You only sell pies for some reason, though? What a loser. But catcher, you beat me again! Eh, here's a hundred dollars. Alright, well... To be honest, I don't think I can progress the game effectively any longer. Because I have not been training my Pokemon at all in any efficient kind of way. But I hope you enjoyed the first video of Pokemon Week. Probably gonna walk over here because I love the song of this town. What's this sound again? Pewter? I think it's Peter, right? Notice! Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Peter Police with any info. So it is Peter. But yeah, this has been Crystal Face. I really hope you enjoy this, and I hope you're hyped for the rest of Pokemon Week. I'll be playing, uh, if you're not, if you, if you personally aren't all that hyped about these old school uh, Pokemon games, most of the other games for the Pokemon Week are actually going to be uh, console, more uh, up-to-date Pokemon games. So, if that was your concern, don't worry, I'm not going to play, like, you know, 50 Game Boy uh, games on my channel. But, uh, this does it for the first Pokemon Week video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. This is just the beginning of the amazing adventures of Crystal Face. His journey is destined to be packed with non-stop action, millions of laughs, heart-pounding perils, and endless excitement. Together we'll encounter fantastic friends, evil enemies, and meet creatures beyond our wildest imaginations. As our story unfolds, we'll unlock the magic and mystery of a most wondrous place, the incredible world of Pokemon.